I was brought up in North India, in Delhi. I went to school and college there. I, was, I went to a convent school. Then I spent uh, almost eight years in, in America at Harvard University. And by the time I came back to India, I was almost 30 years. So with absolutely no contact whatsoever, I had not even heard his name till 1968. It was a chance meeting I, the students of the university had, uh, who were in my class had invited me to the dormitory. And one of them was an Indian. And he asked me whether I would come to his room before going to the function. So I went, I went to his room on the television was a photograph where I saw a beaming face and I said, who is he? And he said, he's the Shankaracharya of Kanchi. But, uh, I mean, nothing more happened, but that image itched in my mind for some reason. And the next time I saw Paramacharya's vision, I can say, his picture, was when I was coming in during the emergency from the United States to make a daring entry into parliament and then disappear again if I could. <laughs> and at that time there was an, uh, uh, I was a proclaimed offender. My name had been sent to the Interpol for a watch out notice. There was a reward on my head. It was the highest reward of that time, <laughs> more than any of the criminals. And the plane was coming to Delhi. And my plan was, which everybody thought was mad, was that without luggage, I will just get down and walk through the airport as if I was a visitor in the airport. Of course, I was dressed in kurta pajama, looked like a youth congress ruffian. <laughs> and uh, I got down. Just as the plane was about to land, I again saw Parmacharya's photo. And I walked in. It's unbelievable that such things can happen, but I just walked in. I walked into the immigration. The policeman was sitting there, the immigration officer looking there. I had my parliament pass with me. I just put it out. And they assumed I must be a congressman, so they all saluted me. <laughs> and I went, took a taxi, and went and registered in a hotel. After that, uh, of course, after a few days, I went to, into Parliament and again disappeared and went back to the United States. But I made one resolve, that I must one day go and see him as soon as the emergency is over. I had no idea emergency would get over so soon. But I made a decision. So when in 1977 the Janata had come to power, the Tamil Nadu elections up to the assembly took place after the parliament election. So I was on a tour and I was passing through near Kanchipuram and I saw a hut and lots of cars and people. So I asked my party people, who, what is going on here? He said, no, the Paramacharya is sitting here. He's not in his uh, mud, but he's in this, in this hut. So I said, oh, then let me go and see him. So I went there and uh, he was sitting there. A lot of people were there. There was a well also between us and him. And I went and stood there and peeped there. He saw me, he suddenly got up, turned his back, went inside the hut and shut the door. <laughs> so I said, obviously he doesn't like me, so let us go. So I moved on to go back to the car. Just as I reached the car, one of the, his people came running and said, Periva Kupadra. So, I went back and he asked me in Tamil, <laughs> So 
So I told him, that time my travel was much worse than it is today. I told him, I will be there, I will be there, I will be there, I will be there. He said, no, 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 I will be there, I will be there, I will be there, I will be there. It was from a magazine called Dinamani Kadir. It was in Tamil. He said, can you, Tamil body ke terima? I said, yeah, I can enough. So I read it, there was a photograph of me, and there was a question, Subraman Swami Tamil or not? So he's given a reply, uh, the editor, that Ama Sholamanda Node, then one other. So he asked me, Nidane Adi? I said, ah, Hippopala. <laughs> so I went away. Then after a month, almost the campaign was finishing, I was again passed by. He was in the same place. So I said, let me go and see him again. This time when I came, he asked everybody to leave. And then he started talking. He spoke about pol political events, international events. And he spoke to me for one and a half hours. And he said so many things, you see. He said, will you be a minister? Because uh, I had not become a minister and I was very unhappy I was not a minister. I was the leading campaigner against the emergency and the Janata government uh, because of personal animosities of some people. I was blocked from becoming a minister. So I always read on my mind, but he read my mind. He said, did you, uh, minister it, yeah. I said, no. Padavi Pinalavaro. Ni Padavi Pinalavara there. Padavi on Pinalavaro. And I followed that after that. And I'm telling you, that's why in, in politics I give everybody tension, but I have no tension. 